I'm going to be honest. It's hard to be a Fortnite content creator right now. The game and the community are in such a weird state. Like, it seems like a lot of people are just losing interest in Fortnite. Now, I love this game. It's opened so many doors for me, and I've seen how it's impacted the lives of other content creators as well. I've also seen a lot of people recently start to leave the game or just start to not have fun with it anymore. But I think that the current issues that we're having with Fortnite can be broken down into three parts. Lack of enthusiasm, the way Epic's telling the story right now, and the content creators that are at the forefront of making content for Fortnite. All three of these issues are symptoms of Fortnite's lackluster popularity right now. And if they don't get corrected, Fortnite probably will end. Now, I know I'm not the only one that's felt this way. Let's look at number one, for example, lack of enthusiasm. I think the reason why a lot of people are lacking enthusiasm when it comes to Fortnite right now is because Epic isn't really giving people what they want. Now, I enjoy this season. I think this season is fun. I think the concept of it is really cool. I like what Epic's done to the map. They're making frequent changes, and I think they're putting in a lot of effort to do so. But these aren't the changes that we're really looking for. Most of us, or at least the people that I talk to, would like the OG guns to be back. And I've talked about this many times on the channel before, but the current set of weapons that we have are not the best. Now, Epic did do something really cool by bringing the lever action and the suppressed uh, SMG back, but that's not enough. A lot of the new guns are just reskins of old guns with different damage outputs, and that's not really what we want. Not to mention, there are certain things that are just missing from the game. Like, the scars should never be taken out, the pump should never be taken out, and launch pads should never be taken out. Those three things are staples of Fortnite and are what make the game special and unique to some degree. One of the reasons why people love the scar was because it was a weapon that was only available in two rarities. It was neat to have an AR that was that rare because regardless of what version you picked up, you knew it was going to be good. Now let's look at the current ARs. I like the hammer. The ranger's kind of growing on me, and I like the chrome AR as well. But the issue is I can get each one of those weapons in any rarity. There's no separation between those guns in terms of this one is exclusive to only this rarity. And I think that there's something special to be said about guns like that. I don't mind Epic giving us new guns, but I think that there needs to be more of the old ones mixed in there to keep people interested. Now, continue with the theme that Epic isn't really listening to people right now. I think that's why you've had a lot of competitive players like Benji, Colazzo, Mongrel, like leave the game because it's just not fun. Competitive feels like a watered down version of pubs. Then I think that Epic did make some really good changes this year to the competitive playlist to make it more fun, but I still don't feel like it's enough of a change to really get a lot of the older players back. I would argue if they really wanted to shake things up, they need three separate loot pools, one for zero builds, one for builds, and then one for competitive. But see, not listening to the community is only half the problem that Epic is having right now when it comes to people's lack of enthusiasm. The other half of it, and the second point I wanted to make is people are desensitized to Fortnite's updates. Fortnite has a general rhythm that it follows every season. New season comes out, new battle pass, we have map changes, weapon changes, everyone's really excited for about a week, then everyone starts getting a little bored. About two weeks into the new season, Epic will come out with a new update, everybody will be happy again for a couple of days, and then we'll keep going through this cycle of updates for the next two and a half to three months. By the end of the season, the last couple of weeks, everyone's talking about how the game is dead, how much they hate it, how much they're tired of playing the game, and then all of a sudden, leaks start dropping about the next season, and then excitement starts building back up again. It'll either lead up to some big in-game event, or maybe just the servers going down, and that'll be the case for either a few hours all the way up to a couple of days. And then from there, we repeat the whole process all over again. Quite frankly, Fortnite players are incredibly spoiled. Epic is one of the few games that consistently puts out updates like they do for its player base, and I still think it's fantastic, and they do a really good job, but I think we've all become a little desensitized to it. Like, a lot of these updates don't mean anything anymore. Like, they're kind of just drab, especially when they're not giving you the kinds of things that you want. I think the updates would probably be more significant if we had a baseline of weapons that we knew were not going to be removed from the game, which we just talked about in my previous points. Ultimately, Fortnite's player base is just at a point where things just don't get that exciting anymore. And it's not just for the game meta, like the weapons and the loot pool. 
It's also for the story, and this brings me to my second main point. Fortnite suffers from a phenomenon called power creep. Now, this is a concept that a lot of anime fans are going to be familiar with, and for my example, I'm going to use Dragon Ball as my baseline. For those who don't know, power creep is where when you're writing a story, you have the issue where you're either constantly making your character stronger or you're having to constantly raise the stakes every time. So, for example, in Dragon Ball, how many transformations does Goku have? You have to think about Dragon Ball as one big story from Dragon Ball, the original series when Goku was a kid, all the way to Z, GT, or Super. Look at the difference in power and the enemies that he faces along the way. The stakes have to keep being raised, but how many times can you raise the stakes before it just becomes unreasonable or unbelievable or just plain boring? You become, once again, desensitized to the whole concept of it. Fortnite has the same issue with its events. The live events don't mean anything anymore. I mean, think about it. After the black hole event where the entire universe of the Fortnite island gets sucked into a black hole, where do you go from there? Now, a lot of people may argue that we've had some better events since then, and I would agree, yes, my favorite was the end event. However, the reason why the end event was my favorite and a lot of other Fortnite theories favorites wasn't because the stakes were really high. It was because of the interactions that we got to see on camera. For those of us who are invested in the story, what we want to see are the different character interactions. What happens when Dr. Sloan confronts Paradigm in front of the Foundation? Will she give us some more details as to why the Paradigm left the Seven to help the Imagine Order build the mech? Is there more to that relationship between the Imagine Order and Paradigm? Also, does Paradigm have any connection to Singularity whatsoever? We now understand they're two separate people, but one was clearly teased to be the pilot of the mech. If the general public or the, your general player base was invested in the characters of your story, more people would be invested in your game. I have friends that are Fortnite theorists and content creators, and I have friends that are Fortnite content creators that are not theirs that just enjoy the BR. And from the friends that just enjoy the BR, they are very confused by the story. Think about it like this, Geno the Big Bad that we've been building up to for over two years was almost killed off recently, and you wouldn't know that unless you read the comic. I was talking with someone on Twitter about this recently, and it was an interesting point, but they said the problem with Fortnite's story is that it's so ingrained within Marvel and DC lore that it's almost impossible to separate itself from that. So now Fortnite's story is contingent upon third-party licensed properties, and that's not a good thing. But Fortnite has enough interesting characters in and of itself to make a very compelling story to get everyone excited about. I don't think we need as many in-game events. If anything, I think we just need more story and story that's accessible to the general public, specifically in the form of a web series. Right now, my point is this, epic story that they're telling is very lackluster and it's making it difficult as someone whose main priority on this channel was to tell the story. It's making me not care about it because quite frankly, they don't seem like they care. But I don't wanna completely blame Fortnite for the lack of enthusiasm or the lack of interest in the game. The third and final problem, which is my last point, are the people that make content for the game. This might seem like a hot take, but Fortnite content creators, the biggest content creators, quite frankly, make very boring content. Ask yourself this, when was the last time we had a moment, like a gaming moment that brought the internet together to rally behind? The game first came out back in those early seasons. There were so many people obviously coming to the game, trying to come up with new creative ways to play the game. There was always some fresh new ideas, but what fresh new ideas have any of the content creators come up with recently? I could be wrong. There are a lot of content creators that I don't watch. But I'll be honest, my favorite content creators, the ones that I enjoyed watching play this game, their content's gotten pretty boring. How many times can you have a fashion show or a game of hide and seek and make it really compelling? How many more times can I watch somebody crank 90s and be cracked and get excited about it? Gameplay videos are boring. Montage videos are boring. The gimmicky, I put 99 of my fans in a lobby with me and we did some weird random shit type videos are boring. We need some new ideas to shake up Fortnite content to make people actually wanna watch it again. And honestly, I don't think you're gonna get it from the larger content creators. This is not to disrespect them, and with all due respect, they don't really have to try. Because they were first to market and they've established themselves as a brand and a name in Fortnite, 
they can kind of just do whatever they want and make lackluster videos with barely any substance and get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views on it. And listen, there's nothing intrinsically wrong with these videos. I'm not saying that these videos aren't well edited or well organized. But what I'm saying is that it's the same thing that we've seen a million times just from a different content creator. Cypher brought up an interesting point in one of his newest videos. He said that there hasn't been a new content creator to rise to fame by playing Fortnite in over a year. And that's a really good point. But I know that there are content creators such as myself and some of my other friends that are currently working on content to fill in those gaps. And I honestly think what Fortnite needs right now is a series of new content creators to either take the place of or collaborate with some of the old ones. Because in my opinion, the old content creators have dropped the ball and are just doing the same thing that they've always done, which isn't good enough. Fortnite can't grow right now because nobody's doing anything to make it grow, with the exception of smaller content creators because we have to. We can't just sit here and make gameplay videos and expect them to get hundreds of thousands of views because nobody wants to watch that from us. And I'm not mad at the fact that I have to do that. I like that because it makes me grow as a content creator. And if you're an upcoming content creator watching this, this is what I would say to you. Be different, take risks, jump out there on the ledge and make decisions that are gonna make you stand out as a content creator and be consistent because people will genuinely like that and pay attention to it. We need a new wave of content creators and I intend to be one of those. But that begs the question, what does this new type of content look like? What does it mean to take a risk or to do something different with Fortnite? If you subscribe to my channel, I can firsthand show you a few ideas. For example, this video right here where I actually dubbed the entire Fortnite Zero War comic series. Watch that until I can get my next video out. And until then, I love you guys and I'll catch you soon. Peace out.